Okay, thank you. Uh, and good morning, everyone. And firstly, I must say a very happy new year. Um, South Australia Police were out in presence last night across the state, ensuring that we welcomed in a um, safe uh, 2023. Um, the warm weather did draw big crowds across the state, uh, and we saw crowds in coastal areas and also in the CBD of Adelaide. Um, there was a good crowd at the cricket, and obviously some of those people went into the city after the cricket. So we did have a highly visible presence across the state, and that was targeting antisocial behaviour and disorderly behaviour in particular. Um, it was good to see that the majority of people were able to enjoy themselves responsibly and safely, um, but there were those that uh, unfortunately could not. Um, so what we saw was 89 people arrested across the state and 57 people reported. The majority of those included behavioural, traffic and drug possession offences. And there were a total of 171 traffic expiation notices issued and 179 general expiations, which include offences of possession of drugs, possessing or consuming alcohol in a dry zone, and again, behavioural offences. And we also conducted over 5,600 driving tests, uh, and of those, 35 people tested positive to alcohol and 11 tested positive to drugs. The highest of those drink driving results was from a static RBT station at Seacliff Park, where that person recorded a result of 0.176. So overall, a very peaceful uh, and majority quiet night, um, which is great to see as we welcome in now 2023. Do you know how that compares with last year? Uh, the, if, the offence range is very difficult to compare because last year, if I take, for instance, we had 9,000 people at the cricket, this year we had 40. So we've chosen not to convere, compare the two years because they're quite different years. This is probably the first year in three that we've actually been, whilst COVID is still present, in a very non-COVID type environment. So um, very difficult to compare the two years. But I take it that means there's more offences this year because you have more people. Uh, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. If I. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. In, in, a, in a very I, I, general I can sense. Go back and look at our yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I would say, in a very general sense, because there's more people out in public, yeah. um, obviously our offences were probably higher. Yes. Um, was there a particular suburb in which these offences were predominantly quite high, or was it spread evenly across? It's really spread across the state. I mean, if you look at the majority of our people, were out in the coastal areas, particularly in the metropolitan area, um, and then our coastal areas um, through those regional places, uh, and again in the CBD. So when you have 40,000 people at the cricket, um, some of those may choose to stay on in the city. So it's really the CBD in the coastal areas where the um, offences were mostly located, and that was where we had a lot of our policing resources as well. Any incidents along the river? Anything overnight? Anyone? Nothing? No, not that I'm aware of. Yeah. No, no, quite in many respects uneventful, which is great. Were these numbers that you recorded this morning, were you surprised or were you shocked by, um, you know, you say that people, most, the majority of people were behaving very peacefully, very well. Um, were you pleasantly surprised by these numbers? I, I, it is, it is, it is pleasing, yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are always those that just can't make good decisions uh, and subject themselves to arrest or report. Um, but if you look at the numbers of people out um, enjoying themselves, really the, the numbers of arrests and reports really in a pro rata sense are quite low. So. Considering as well, um, you know, quite a few COVID restrictions have lessened, you, were you expecting more? Uh, I don't think, well, I'd, I'd expect it to be low, you know. Our, our expectation is that people can enjoy themselves safely and responsibly. Um, so it's always disappointing that someone gets arrested on New Year's Eve. If, if spending your night at the police cell um, is an enjoyable New Year's Eve, then I... It's not my type of New Year's Eve. So in many respects, the lower the numbers, the better the behaviour and the more people enjoy themselves responsibly. You had a, well, not you, there was a streaker at the cricket last night. Is he one of the people charged in this or arrested as part of those numbers? I'm not sure. No, I wasn't aware there Where was a... Where the No. <laughs> no, that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> there was a story. Park early this morning. What are your on that? Uh, yes, well that's still being investigated, so it's still at the early stages and um, it's difficult to provide too much comment on it. Um, what we do know is yes, a person was stabbed in Davenport Park and currently police are still investigating that. So whilst I have some detail, it's very limited. Um, there is a description of a Caucasian male, um, but again that 
at the moment is still being investigated. <laughs> Oh, just one thing, I asked this just because there was that really bad indecent assault on Henley Street over Christmas. There's been nothing like that over New Year's, has there? Not that I'm In aware of. Oh, okay. No. No worries. No. Thank you. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You.